Mark Opio in Japan, presenting on behalf of colleagues, and we'll be presenting uh, hand carry data collecting through questionnaire and quiz alike through mini computer Raspberry Pi. Okay, thank you very much, Pete, and good afternoon, everyone. And this is the last session of this conference. So, out of all of you who are in education, maybe my topic is the most different one from all of you. Maybe Prof. Elliot and Prof. Metzger, who said that learning is number one, I'm actually presenting number two, technology. And so, it's not even a technology, to be honest with you. It's kind of like the three of us here came up with a crazy idea on the spot and let's make an introduction to it. So as he said on the title, and I'm currently a master student. And the outline is uh, quite simple for us. But before we start, uh, uh, why not first uh, we have a defini uh, same definition of what is a survey. So a survey has been often used to assess other people's thoughts, opinions, and feelings. And simply it is one of many methods to gain information. But all of you are discussing about what is the outcome of the survey. But on my side, I want to discuss the, how do you deliver the survey, what are the technical methods of delivering the survey. So most surveys are, are delivered conventionally on paper-based methods, as you all know. But there are uh, surveys that have been delivered on more, um, in a modern way, an online-based method, the online-based, where the participants connected the internet, and then they from anywhere at any time, that is the advantage, they can submit the responses online. And, those, and this is the motivation why we carried out the project that most people own the computer devices which favors using computers such as information systems. But there is a problem that maybe in the US, China and Hong Kong you will need to think about internet or Wi-Fi or phones, but there is a developing country that knows that internet connections are still unreliable. So so that's why uh, they cannot they cannot use the online based method and have to refer to the paper based method. But we're not going to the jungle or to the forest where nothing exists. But somewhere in between a developing country like Myanmar, for example, that the universal network is not so great, but the computer laptop ownership, many owns it. So how to utilize this situation that is this, my project. And this is from all the slides, this is the main point. And so the concept is, is to make a portable server, a hand carry server. So if the concept is if we cannot, if the participants cannot reach the server or cannot reach the internet, why not bring the server to it? So this is possible due to the invention of a mini computers such as there are many others, Raspberry Pi, and we can see that it's only a, the size is a hand carry. It's it's a computer. If you, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's the same as a laptop, but only the size is compressed. And you only need a power bank to switch, and it's already turned on. If you ever need a display, there's a HDMI and whatever. And so the, we ask the participants on their iPhones or Androids or any type of computer devices or net, network or laptop to connect to our server and assess the local survey size. And so what does this have to do with this conference international mobile learning festival? We are not doing a mobile learning to the students, but we are providing mobile for the surveyor or mobile for the teachers. So they can carry it, their computers anywhere. And we have a three hypothesis, which is the hand carry server will use the manual labor, have a resource limitation and have a service limitation. And the and we and the server itself, uh, the, uh, even though it's very small, uh, it's as uh, Steve said, it's still very uh, inferior in terms of resources. And that the uh, CPU is a uh, 900 megahertz port for ARM, and the 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 RAM or memory is one gigabyte, and it's a PS4. And what does this mean? I will 
explained in later slides. The visual effect is that it's so beautiful, the size of the hand carry, and it's very light on the body type. And there are some other that you can click with the SD card instead of a hard drive in the laptop. There is a USB port to connect and the system port and many others. But these are the important ones. And so the method of how to transform the mini computer into a hand carry server is actually the same of how to transform any computer or laptop into a hot hot server. So we implement that on the mini computer thirty five. That's why first is a thermal operating system. Then install a hotspot module for the participants' uh, uh, computer device to connect to their Wi-Fi. And then we need to install a dynamic host configuration protocol server to give them internet protocol addresses or IP addresses to the to the participants. Then the web server and the database is to where we put our server. Then after this is a uh, the surveyor, so it's up to the surveyor's taste. You can make your own, or you can use a pre built uh, <coughs> survey like a land survey content management system. This is uh, what is best actually, but it's up to the surveyor to be best. And optionally, you can install a domain system server and a key tables for landing page. So if we, if we initially need to tell where the, what is the URL or the link of our survey site. They can just be redirected to be with this. And doing all this uh, procedure, you can have the hand carry server. And this hand carry server is real. Basically, that is all of my project, but I do more simulation. So after realizing the hand carry server, I did some simulation. Originally, I want to do a field implementation, but he has. Looks like I have a limited resource and maybe need some more time. So the first hypothesis I want to prove is that the hand carry server will be used in your way. And so as my friend was gone, I borrowed her questionnaire. It contains uh, 30 questionnaire items and ask them to simulate what she did back then that each class had uh, 30 participants. And the simulation consists of uh, three stages. First is the preparation stage. And for the survey labor simulation, I want to compare uh, the difference between a survey using a paper base and uh, compared to using a hand carry survey base. So, if so I'm creating a questionnaire on the paper base to make them in a word versus in a text like a board or a notice, but here we make them in a line survey CMS. And for the paper base, we need to print the questionnaire. On the responding stage, the second stage is the main stage where there is an interaction between the participants and the survey. For the for the paper base, we hand the paper sheets one by one to the participants. While for the hand carry server, you ask the survey the participants to connect to the server. And then there is an answering session, one using a pencil and a pen, while the other use a tap on their phones or use their laptop. And collecting the responses, the surveyor goes around collecting to the one by one. For the hand carry server, a submission is uh, the Wi-Fi. And there is the third stage, the post survey stage, that, that which is the where you have to input the responses to the database, but applicable for the paper base only. And these are some survey settings on the hand carry server. The responses are anonymous, and cookies are used for duplication control, as and many other settings over here. And on the right side is the screenshot of how the survey is carried out on, on somebody's phone, for example. This is a one question and a five digit scale. And the result is for the labor. There is no significant difference on the preparation stage where on the hand paper based method you type the question and there is a question printing. And where on the on the other hand, and the reserve method there is a question typing also, but a web delay from one. This can be reduced depending on the resource of the hand server, but for the printing one, this is uh, I assume using the fox 
fastest in the possible and one second per page. The more the if uh, if you're using an old printer, however, then this uh, blue orange line will spike up and it will it will show that the method that I propose will be much better than the one than the manual letter method. For the responding state where there is interaction, the paper based method there is no serious emission difference. The paper needs to the question refer to the questionnaire to this participant that is answering and to collect the paper. And can tell what I explained before, but not too much detail here. What the major difference is during the post survey, where you need to input the result back to the database, which is most uh, survey said is the most tiring and the most uh, inconvenient and the most annoying part. So this one, I also assume using the best possible technologies like using the scanner to the scanner and the OCR to automatically insert the papers and they will produce this result. And it should be around this much. But even so with the best possible technologies, the using a hand carry zero method is still much better than that. That that this process doesn't need to be taken because the computer will do the processing for you. And if you do if you don't use the like most of it, you don't use the manual method, it can take a very long time. And not only inputting the the responses, but you need to verify that to make sure there is no human errors and many other things. But computer is very guaranteed. So and then another the and then the next hypothesis that I want to show is that but this hand carry server might have a risk of communication. For the power delivery or is a 4.6 watt hour, so what does this mean? So the whole survey process that I simulated to 39 minutes and the power band that I use is a 20,000 milliampere hours and the 5 volts. The power band indicator in 39 minutes drops from 100% to 97%. So in this condition, it should be able to last 100, 1,300 minutes and 21 hours. In other words, for the energy, it's a very low consumption. But for the other research usage, like the CPU and the memory, it's a very exhausting. So it's clearly need that the, it needs to be full. For the survey creation, is attempted only by one survey, so there's no much risk of use, but when attempted by 30 years, it's already exhausted. It needs uh, around um, 700 megabytes of uh, memory, and the CPU maybe needs to be increased to lower the process. And then the final hypothesis that I want to present that the hand carry server has a serverless limitation, even though it's a very convenient, but there is a limit to how much you can use. So what I what we did is we do a stress testing application using a Hamlet, Hamlet server, which is a well is a stress testing application to test a web page. And we set the number of virtual users up to 100 virtual users. So originally I want to do a good implementation, but maybe this time a, simula a simulation can be used. And it's more convenient if you want, just want to see the limitation of this hand carry server or other computing device. So the testing is only meant during the attempt in the survey. In the map in the proceedings I do all the all the testing, but here I'm present during the survey itself. And then what is tested is the response time. The response time meaning that how much, it means how long does it take for one person to complete the survey and what is the service queue or the service, uh, something like that. How is the service time? And this is the result. So the 
address settings is up to one and the speed for users from incrementally from one, five, ten, fifteen to one hundred. And on the on the vertical side is the time consuming of seconds. Although it should be only one graph, but I but uh, we found out that the number of items in the questionnaires or the number of content affects the service or response time. But this one is the average response time that, the, but still this follows the rule that the larger the concurrent users and the questionnaire attempt, the longer the response time. So the more the users, the more the response time, and the more the questionnaire items, the more the response time. So far, users is very yes. How do you test that? Do you have 100 people accessing the survey at the same time? Yes, 100 assessing at the same time, not uh, people, but virtually generated people. Oh, okay. It's a simulation. You can, oh. it, it can be done by download. Oh, okay. So what this going back here is that uh, the, the more the user is clear that the more the users, the, there'll be people who are, there'll be people who are in queue, maybe of the virtual users may be served first, and there are virtual users who are served last. The served last is the maximum response time here. Are all the users using your server too, or? Only in one server, but one server can be, they can make a virtual computer inside, 100 virtual computer inside one server, okay. and then they do the survey. And so, so this is the, in this graph you can show that uh, the survey can see on what kind of situation it is going to survey, and using this data you can you can see that whether it's uh, applicable or not. So for this one, for example, you don't don't go over uh, fifty users for this case. So with the server the server limitation and the, the limitation of the server. So on this one, why this one spikes up? This goes to infinity. Meaning that the can carry server breaks, or the the server stop working when there are more than eighty five users assessing at the same time. So I suggested that it should be below eighty five users for this specification of can carry server. And so when the server buys a handling server to be I strongly said we strongly suggest to do this testing to see how much case, how much it can handle. And it's up to the server to define uh, how many, what is the maximum service time or what is the maximum waiting time for one person. So if it's less than 10 seconds, then maybe uh, 10 users at a time is only possible, but you, but if it's an average of 10 seconds, for example, is allowed to average, then maybe more can be applied. And so why is uh, this, the number of items influence the, the average response time? Is because when the user retrieves the questionnaire, the more data they are transmitted. And the survey and the participants need to Return a response. So the more the items, the more the response it will it will give. So in other words, more data transmitted. And that is the end of the discussion session. So I'd like to go to the conclusion and give the work. So the advantage of this hand carry server method is a simple low power cost which require less than the labor and the results. And the best uh, advantage is instantaneous statistic result and able to do any analysis. So like a clicker you can the statistics the statistics are instantly generated, which you cannot do with using a paper or semi online data. So I would like to conclude that a method of survey using hand carry server are presented and the simulation result is an insight to survey of how much as a hand carry server can handle and low power cost but resource CPU and memory. The response time is affected by the size of the concurrent users and questionnaire content. So this work is only experimental and real implementation is necessary to complete the research. But sorry to break it to you that this isn't the original intent of this research. So this was just
to an introduction to the research that we are going to do. We want to increase the performance on the increasing, on the, on the existing hand-carrying server that is able to be maybe by embedding an embedded device like an FPGA or a frame or a field programmable page array. That is so maybe we can, by doing that, we can handle more users up to 100 or even 200. And this is another uh, illustration of a possible future work where hand carry server can be used as a server to do a paper implementation. And uh, each uh, participants can just click a button and instantly will generate the package. So it looks like my time is up. And thank you for having uh, yeah, Thank you very much. Any questions or comments? Any questions or comments? I have a question. Have you taken into account uh, the uh, learning curves? Consider the cost to do the programming, technical skill development? The learning curve. The, uh -huh. the teachers to be able to do the this. learning curve to learn how to you know uh, how to use. Uh, create this how yes. to use the Raspberry yes. connect yes. with the, the server and then how to develop the questions yes. it's a paper basis so it's just like yes that's the correct. learning curve of uh, the technology to install a patchy yeah. that's yes. right yes. <laughs> yeah that is the cost yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is correct years <laughs> <laughs> So in the many I also thought about that, uh, but to a straightforward answer is comparing the paper base to this one, we, we assume that we prepared the hand carry server ready for the teacher to use. Mm. So all they need is to add it and to learn how to use, how learn how to make questions. Input. Yeah, input. Yeah, very sure. I think okay. it's very innovative yeah. what you're doing. It's really innovative because it's a solution that doesn't need internet connectivity yes. because someone might say why, why are you using google forms but you you can set up a, a local server with very low cost and very low bespoke resources and still have you know people being able to connect to that mobile devices in an area where you might not have any internet connectivity and that's that's fantastic yeah, yeah thank you very i think much. it's very innovative so however uh, you know uh, the distance of the Raspberry to the server, because the wireless always have mm -hmm. this uh, yes. distance issue, and then the connectivity yes. and the bandwidth. Do you have the same concern about the that Raspberry? We, yes, that we do have the same concern, and, it, and that, uh, that was a currently in press and it's ongoing research. But the, our current solution is to provide more hand carry server. So this one is only one. Uh, raspberry but why not use two or more and for the economic it costs only thirty dollar which thirty uh, thirty five US dollar yeah, just bought a thirty four. And what about <laughs> if, you had, if you had like a one hundred dollar netbook, I mean surely that could take many hundreds of people if you had um ah, better, yeah, better resources. Is that the next thing that you might look at or yeah yeah so you spend a little bit more, you know? Like Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> one is possible. Um so for classroom size, like I mean, with uh, network may be more uh, suitable, but for in terms of size, so this one are uh, like on the field or yeah. on the road, yeah. so mm -hmm. not many people are carrying network and stuff, it's better to just carry a pocket computer and then pick it up and turn it on. Thank you very much. Now, um, um, folks, oh sorry. Compare the Kahoo, the online survey, to your Raspberry. What do you think uh, the maturity and then availability across the everything? Oh, the compared to mine to the online survey? Uh huh. Like a Kahoo, do you use Kahoo a lot? Yes, yes, yes. So the compared to the online survey, if they have, if the internet connection is very good, like in Hong Kong and in Japan, this thing is uh, not really useful. But this thing is very useful in developing countries like that. Oh, if they yeah, don't have the internet connection. But there is also another use, like the, in classroom, for example, if you want to maintain a limited connectivity. For example, if a class is available online, people can cheat. The students can cheat. Yeah. They may be in the library or somewhere, and then they can say that, oh, they have, uh, they have entered the class due to login, to the online login. But for this one, since the radius yeah. is limited. <laughs> So we cannot really cheat. They have to come <laughs> to the radius. Maybe they have to know something. They can't let it go away, right?
Thank you very much, um, yeah, for, for your awesome presentation. Um, so that that concludes this session. Just a, a note: next session uh, we have one stream, so it's not parallel, but it's just the one. Um, some very very good presentations, um, but we need a chair. We don't have a chair. So I feel we have like, a chair. No, no, no. I've already chaired. I've done. The chair. <laughs> um, so if anyone would like to chair the, the last session, I, according to the um, program, it's in room four hundred one. So not. Daniel, Daniel said that because exactly, no. I was going over there to set up, and he uh -huh. says that they're not going to use the room that they were going to do it in back here because he knows it works. And Excellent. So back here, and then we've got everything ready to go. So we'll Join us for that. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to just give you the research as well. I don't know how you said that. Thank you. I'm really happy to be in touch. I'm going 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 to be in